Oh, I got cut off. Man, do I really need to go there? With how deep inside the mansion the attic is, there's barely any signal there. But why was she there? I mean, it's not like the attic is directly above me or anything. <laughs> of all places she could be, she just had to make me go fetch her in the creepiest room of this place. I'd, I'd be like, no. You're on your own. <laughs> Call the police and just leave. Is she doing this to get back at me for being late? Man, so much for just 15 minutes demo. <laughs> Whatever. I'll just go. The sooner I meet up with her, the sooner I feel better about being in this place. I think, like, we just make it incredibly long with our uh, talking. Probably. Probably. I make my way carefully up the staircase. My legs wobble as I mentally curse the fact that I chose real estate when I could have picked a c up a career that didn't involve strange abandoned houses. Ooh. Upon reaching the top, the grand hallway greeted me. With birds singing outside of beautifully open windows. Ah! Holy shit. <laughs> that was the birds singing. <laughs> The hallway had two wings, the east wing and the west wing. Look at that creepy door. Oh yeah, that's pretty creepy. Yeah. Two master bedrooms in the library were situated in the east wing, as was the creepy attic door which looked like it was made out of wood that was 300 years older than the rest of the <laughs> Meanwhile, I faced the west wing, which held the conference room, the theater room, and at the end of the hall, a simple wooden door leading upstairs to the attic, very similar to the one described in the east wing. <laughs> Unlike the grand staircase, though, the stairs that lead to the attic are deep, steep, and were made of rocks. Wow. Sorry. Deep and steep uh, and made of rocks. Like, I guess, like, tall steps? Would you call those deep steps? I'd call that steep steps. Hmm. Wouldn't you? They're made of rocks, though. Well, no, what? steep is just, like, kind of, like, short on the horizontal bit, isn't it? Yeah, but that would usually mean that they're, I guess, okay, sure, deep means tall steps. Yeah. But why made out of rocks in the attic? I, I don't know, in the attic. <laughs> it sounds like you would need way more structural support than necessary. <laughs> then it would be worse, yeah. Right. Weird. If I'm not too careful, I could easily stumble and fall back down out the door that I came through. <laughs> Thank God it's still daytime. With how old the place was, there was no light fixtures, and I'd need a candle or a flashlight to make my way around. Because, like, all those light fixtures that we see in the hallway aren't <laughs> actually real. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? There's a lot of light fixtures. <laughs> they might not work, but they're there. Reaching the top, the door opened to a maid's quarters. Ooh, spooky maid. Nope. The door just... The door's, the door's creaking. Wow, look at this tiny-ass room. <laughs> Looks exactly as it had been since the last time I was here. Full of dust, worn out, and faded by time. Clearly not made to look spick and span. Did the cleaning no. crew miss this room? Oh, nice. Good pickup. Ugh. Ugh. Cleanliness is the least of my concerns right now. The more pressing matter is Rose. Where are you, Rose? She's not here. She's not there. Is this the attic or is this just a maid room? I don't know. I don't know either. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, Harry. Was I dreaming when I talked to her a while ago? Did I mishear her? Maybe she was saying static. <laughs> no, no, it couldn't have been a dream, and I'm sure she said she was here in the attic. I don't think she said she was anywhere. She just said, attic. Sort of like that, yeah. That's pretty close. After all, the creepy ambience of this estate is doing such a remarkable job of making sure I stay alert and awake. I think I'll have a nap on this bed. <laughs> Maybe this is just a prank. Or maybe that phone call was Rose's last message to me before the curse got to her. Ooh. Mm. Ah, shut up, brain! You're not helping! Don't make this scarier than it already is. It's pretty spooky, isn't it? If she's not here, then where is she? That's it, I can't do this anymore. Fuck you, Rose. I'm leaving. <laughs> Good. We must have angered the spirits living here. A new disturbing this mansion was a bad idea right from the very get-go. Start, uh, uh, how do you say start in French? Uh, the opposite of arrête. Uh, non arrête. <laughs> <laughs> non arrête. Uh, but nobody listened. Be fucking realistic, they said. 
they think I'm a cuckoo because uh, I hear keep switching accents and I believe in curses and ghosts and all that. But me and my outlandish backwater country beliefs... Whoa, <laughs> you can't say that about the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually written by, by people from the Philippines. Oh. I've always strived to be a model employee, but not this time, no. I'm turning back for the sake of my sanity. Bollocks to this. Briar Realty can find another agent who is more fucking realistic than me to tour people around this haunted shithole of a house. Wow. With fucking stone steps up to the attic. <laughs> Before turning back, I take one last look at the gloomy old room, and I realize that there are feet under the bed. Oh, God. Huh? What's this? My worries about Rose's whereabouts must have caused me to miss it when I first entered the room, but there's clearly something on the floor. Oh, God. It looks like... A letter. <gasps> That's what the game's called, it's the letter! It's a letter, lying on the ground just a couple of inches away from my feet. Out of sheer curiosity, I lean down and pick it up. I'm dead. Sincerely, Rose. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Strange, I don't recall seeing this letter the last time I was here. A few days back, a few other agents and I were exploring the mansion to prepare for today. I'd been the last to look inside the attic and leave, and this certainly hasn't been here before. Someone must have been in this room since then. Like, maybe Rose, she did tell me she was in here. Yeah. Did she leave it for me? Was she here a while ago? I couldn't have missed her, though, could I? There's only one set of stairs to and from the attic. Only one way to find out. The letter isn't exactly in pristine condition. In fact, it looks rather ancient. Paper so thin and rough, I'm worried it will fall apart if I so much as touched it. Ooh. Good thing I'm holding it with both hands. Sorry, one <laughs> hand. I need to be careful. I open it, and what I read shook me to my core. Whew. It's the sound of a letter opening. <laughs> oh, God. Holy shit. In blood. Oh, that's creepy. That was oh a creepy sound God. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. What? Oh my god. Look at her putting her fingerprints all over it. God. Yeah. It, the letter, it's filled with nothing but the words help me written in a crimson shaded pen. I don't know if that's a pen, Isabella. Or blood. That's probably more realistic. Ooh. Nice. The same phrase just keeps on going on and on until... Send this to five people, or else. Ooh. Send this to five people, or else, I say in my head. <laughs> or else what? Or else what? <laughs> as quickly as I can, I scan the back of the paper. I peek into the envelope to make sure I'm not missing out on a second page. But there's nothing. No. Oh, please, no! My hands are trembling as dread creeps over me. Wow, oh, she's taking this really badly. <laughs> I start to realize that the room is suddenly getting colder. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here! <laughs> Folding the paper in half, the sight that greets me next has me frozen on the spot. Oh, God, I'm scared to click. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Holy shit! Was there a noise? Yep. <laughs> Fucking hell. A pair of blood-soaked feet enter my vision, covering themselves in gaping wounds <laughs> with skin eaten away to reveal flesh, Ugh. bone, and all manner of things that one isn't meant to see. I think you always see flesh, but... <laughs> Nerves and veins are exposed in a grotesque display, a foot rested at a painfully odd angle, and all the toenails seem to have fallen off leaving only the decayed remains of infected nail beds in their wake. Oh god, this is horrible! <laughs> I can feel bile rising in my throat at the grease. <laughs> Vomits on the feet. <laughs> it's too much. All of it is too much. Just pass out. I want to make a break for the door. Run, scream, throw up anything, but my feet won't budge. I feel trapped in my own body, glued to the floor out of terror, 
The only sound that I'm still alive is the loud beating of my heart as it echoes in my ears and the tremor that continuously runs through my body. I'm definitely not breathing. Or maybe I am, but Lord knows it certainly doesn't feel like it. I open my mouth to say something about getting a pedicure to treat those toenails, but <laughs> words catch in my throat. I'm completely paralyzed and frozen on the spot. I want to cry. I I don't know what I should do. Lord, please help me. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what do you want to do? First one. Okay. I need to face it. Whoever, whatever these feet belong to, I need to face it. And God knows they've been waiting long enough. <laughs> and if I'm going to die, if they're going to kill me, at least I'll know what my killer looks like. It looks like a dead person, probably. <laughs> probably. A cold comfort. I can feel tears forming in the corner of my eyes, and my whole body trembles still. I've never felt this vulnerable in my entire life. I take a deep breath, summon every ounce of courage, now that I'm breathing again, and have I have <laughs> left in me, and shift my gaze upwards. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. That's horrifying. <laughs> Please, don't hurt me! Oh my oh, god! <laughs> fucking hell. That's just a bunch of creepy sounds going on. No! <laughs> oh. oh my god, without thinking, I scramble backwards towards the door and up to my feet. I struggle to open it, but it won't budge. Stay away! Go away! Please, Lord, may it go away! Why now? Why won't it open now? My heart sinks as reality dawns in. I'm locked in. Locked in with that thing. This is terrifying. <laughs> let me out! Let me out! Lord, please let me out! I feel it slowly approach me as I wrench the door and I'll violently back and forth. Oh god! Tap Z, John! I'm doing it! Tap I'm tapping it! <laughs> yes! Yes! The door finally swings open. I couldn't have been happier. Wasting no time, I leap out of the door, and I don't look back, my feet pounding against the floor like a cacophony of drums in rhythm with the loud, fast beating of my heart. <laughs> my chest feels so tight, like it's going to burst by the time I run past the hallway and I find myself atop the grand staircase. And there's more of them. Oh, God. But that's nothing compared to the feeling of hope the sight of the exit gives me. Racing down the stairs... A breathy laugh escapes me, and my shoe slips, and I find myself oh, falling. No. Oh no! Until my back hits the ground and pain racks my body. Oh god! I feel my head grow fuzzy, and my vision dims, even as I fight to stay awake. No! No! Go away! The last thing I see are those feet before all that I know. Is darkness. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Man, that was pretty scary, actually. <laughs> yeah, John was like, oh, how creepy can it be, mate? It's just a, a visual novel. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I thought. God. That was, uh, that was pretty pretty creepy. Yeah, well, there you go. That was that was the end of the demo. That was I'm pretty sure that was definitely more than 15 minutes. <laughs> I Yeah, we've been uh, sitting here for 45 right now. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Well, so there maybe, you go. Maybe if you went through it really quickly. Maybe, minutes. yeah. But yeah, if, uh, if you're interested, I'm, I'm not sure if it's been greenlit yet. I don't think it has. You can go look for the letter on greenlight, um, and we'll have a link to the Kickstarter in the description below. I know, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was. Well, I hope you enjoyed our exciting, spooky Halloween video. <laughs> And uh, the voices that we we got to do, well, got <laughs> yeah, to, John, great voices. Got to talk at all? Yeah, I didn't. I, I always choose the wrong characters, don't I? Yeah, you really do. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Okay. Oh, man. This is going to be the female one, dumbass. But they they've, they've <laughs> both got urinals. Oh. I don't give a shit. They've <laughs> got urinals in the female toilet. It's progressive. Yeah. <laughs> Like really There's gross a fatter in the female toilets. Hey, <laughs> all I care. <laughs> Father, what are you doing in the female toilets? You Shit, pervert? stop pushing me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
I'm dead. <laughs>